As a kid growing up in Southern California back in the 1950s and 60s, we lived only a half hour to 45 minutes away from Disneyland and visited the park at least once a year every year of my childhood. This film footage that I recently found was taken by my grandfather back in 1958. And that's me and my brother Bruce and my mom and my dad in front of the castle. On the right hand side of the screen, just this side of the popcorn vendor. And this is my dad with my brother Bruce, who you can barely see in the car. And I'm in the car behind with my mom. I don't remember this at all and had no idea that my dad ever went to Disneyland with us. He wasn't around much when I was growing up. And it was usually my mom and my grandparents who took us to Disneyland every year. And here's my dad riding with us in the teacups. I'm glad that my daughter Marsha just recently digitized this film before the image completely faded away. It looks like we got it just in time. And here's my dad riding the Dumbo ride with Bruce and I'm right behind with my mom. It's funny to think that without this film footage, I never would have had any idea that my dad went with us to Disneyland. My mom never mentioned it over the years. I mean, she probably forgot as well. And here's my dad once again with a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. And my mom is pregnant again, this time with my brother Danny. Danny was born in Las Vegas, Nevada, so we must have moved there shortly after this visit to Disneyland. Seeing everybody smoking in all of these old videos does bring back a lot of memories. It did seem like back in the 1950s and 60s, everybody did smoke. In 1995, California was the first state to outlaw smoking in businesses indoors but you could still smoke outdoors. I think over time, the areas where you could smoke outdoors got smaller and smaller, but it wasn't until just a couple of years ago, 2019, that Disneyland outlawed all smoking in the park. Better late than never, I guess. And the only thing I do remember about this day are those hats. It seems that we got a different hat on every visit. One year I remember getting the Daniel Boone raccoon skin cap, but usually we just got the Mickey Mouse ears hat. Since I was around five years old on this trip, I don't think it was our first trip to Disneyland, since it opened three years earlier in 1955. Knowing my grandmother, we were probably there on opening day, or at least sometime that first year. How about you? Do you remember your first visit to Disneyland? Until next time, thanks for sharing the memories, everybody.